All right, Grace Church, post-Easter, you know, with holidays, sometimes there's the post-holiday letdown. And uh, all I would say is that with Easter, with the resurrection, uh, there should be no letdown. There should only be worship of Jesus Christ. Remember Jesus Christ risen from the dead. And we, we celebrated Christ on Sunday. We celebrate Christ every day. I want to remind you of some of the things we looked at in Ephesians 4, uh, verses 9 and 10 which says this, this is a parenthetical aspect, and it's just, it's the reason for everything. In saying he ascended, what does it mean? But that he also descended into the lower parts of the earth. The idea that he died. He also, who descended, is the one who also ascended far above all the heavens, that he might fill all things. There's the reason for why he came. There's the reason for why he rose from the dead, to fill all things, to be in sovereign uh, control and oversight over everything. And praise God that he came to die for us. Uh, Some of the things I said as a result of that is, okay, let the Son of God, because he conquered death and sin and hell and Satan, let the Son of God conquer your heart and rescue you from yourself. And let the Word of God calm your fear of death. And let the Word of God and the Lord take your sin and shape your life. And let the all-powerful forgiveness of God in Christ just flood your life. Uh, The idea of Christ's descent into death It's not merely the incarnation, it's the results of it. And it's the results of what he did at the cross in dying for us. He paid for our sin. And then Easter, I believe in the resurrection, right? The resurrection, he ascended. He didn't just rise from the dead, but he ascended to the Father um, 40 days later. And he he, um, is at the right hand of God interceding for us. He is preparing a place for us. He is and interceding for us. He is working in and through his people, and he will return, and he will reign forever. And some of the things I gave you on why the resurrection matters so much, why the resurrection is essential to your faith. Number one, if Christ be not raised, the scriptures which say he did are invalid. Okay, He said he would, he did, the scriptures are true. Number two, if Christ be not raised, you are still in your sins and without hope. That's what Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15. Uh, Third, if Christ and us will not be raised, then your faith is futile. Fourth, freedom from sin is attached to the resurrection of Christ. So if Christ be not raised, you're not freed from your sins. And number five, uh, the church victory and eternal life rests upon the resurrection. Remember Jesus Christ, risen from the dead, 2 Timothy 2.8. Remember Jesus Christ, risen from the dead. And let that drive your life. Let that drive your affections. Let that drive everything. Know that you are not entitled to anything. But we all deserve hell. So everything else is icing on the cake. Everything else is gravy. Um, Even as God blesses you with all things to enjoy, never lose sight of the cross. Never lose sight of the empty tomb. Never lose sight of the fact that Jesus Christ is coming back.